my name is Ederson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnahere.com and in this video I'll be talking about a module called the uh, events module and it's a module available from the .NET Nook website it's an open source module provided by uh, .NET Nook and with this module you can present in your website you can present a, a calendar view uh, of events of upcoming events that uh, will happen uh, any kind of events you can present in a calendar view format and in a list view format as well. So uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, .NET Nook website. We have to log in to be able to download. So I'm going to log into .NET Nook website. Okay, so I'm already logged in. If I go to download Then I can scroll down and I can go to uh, .tatook projects. Now here we have a bunch of different modules from .NET Nook and one of those modules is the events module. And then uh, the events module is compatible from uh, DNN uh, version uh, 7 up. And we should download, not the source code, because we are not interested in this point in change the, the module, but we're going to download the installation, installation file. Okay, I agree. And it should come up right now. I'm going to save it. Okay, so the module was downloaded. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my test site. I'm going to log in as host because we have to install the module. And here we're going to go to host, module definitions, just installing as a regular module. I think nothing special here. Then from here, let's go to the action menu, install module. Let's browse. And this is where I have downloaded the module to. Let's click next now. Let's scroll down, click next again. And then next again and accept the license and click next. So here's the installation log. Let's have a look if everything went fine. No warnings. Yep, yeah, everything went fine. Let's click return. Okay, so let's have a look if uh, the module was installed properly. Events, okay, events is here, so yes, it is there. Let's do one thing, let's create uh, one new page to, so we can, we can place this module in that page. Okay, so page name, I'm gonna call it uh, events. And it's available to all users. And I'll click update. Okay, so we have our events page. It brings automatically a, a, an HTML module. I'm going to delete this from here, just to get a to get a clean, complete clean page. At the top, we're going to select events module, which is right here, and I'm going to uh, call it call the title just events, and it will be inserted into the content pane. So let's click just add module. So this is what you see initially. You see the calendar with the current current date selected, the month and year at the top. Uh, you can you can browse through months by clicking on, on the months at the top. You can go back to today, today's date just by clicking uh, today at the top. Now, straight to the point, let's try to create uh, an event for the, let's say, the 16th, an event that will happen in the 16th. So, from here, we go to the action menu, and then we can, we can, we can add a new event, as you can see here at the top. 
This module is very extensive, so there are many, many different options. I'm going to cover some of them today, and I will be covering more and more uh, in, in future videos. But let's start from, from the basic settings here. So we're going to create an event. We're going to put a title for that event. So let's say that we have, we're going to have a party. And that party can be an all-day event or not. It can have a start hour and end hour if I want. But I'm going to keep it not as all-day event. But I'm going to set a, a start date as the 16th. And it will start at... Um, Let's say 7 p.m. and it should end on the 16th. It's an early party and it will stop, it will end at uh, 11, oops, 11.30 p.m. Okay. I'm going to keep a display and date as checked. Importance will be, let's say, high high importance. Category we have not specified in category, we have not specified in location, so let's just skip those for now. This is the owner of this event and I'm logging in as host, so I'm, I'm the super user here. I'm the owner of the event. Now, here I can I can add more details about the event. So I'm just gonna enter any event. It can be a formatted text, it can be anything here. Uh, under uh, send reminder, it's just in case if we are creating this event and people can uh, sign up for this event. Not it will not be the case right now. Right now we just create want to create an event in the calendar. That's it. Display image if there is an image that you want to display together with the messages with the event. And if this is a recurring event, let's say uh, this is a. Uh, a weekly or a monthly event type of thing. No, this is just one time only that we want to create. So let's uh, just click update. Now let's see how it looks like. See here, we have the short title, we have the um, exclamation mark that indicates that this is a high priority. And if we move the mouse over, we can see the details at the top. You can see at the top of the uh, pop up. You can see the start date, the end date, and then you can see the description that that I have entered in the body of the pop-up. If you click the event, uh, you will be able to to see more details. You will be able to see the full description, start date, end date, who created the event, and you will be also able to to export that event to your. If you use Microsoft Outlook, you can export to Outlook or Basically, this is a format, this is an extension that it exports the file, the event file. Now let's return here. And let's have a look how this is looking like from a from an end user point of view, from a client, because we are logged in as host. Let's, let's just open here uh, Internet Explorer. I have the site loaded. I'm just going to reload the site to see the new page. And we're going to have a look at how this is looking like from a from a, a regular user point of view. So here's how it's looking like. I can, again, click to see the details by moving the mouse over. And I can see more details. Now, let's go back to the main page. On the right side, you can also see the calendar in the events in a different format. You can see in a seven day, in a week view, in a seven day view, you see. Uh, you can see just the current, the current week and you can also see in a list format. As you can see, just the start event and event start, event end, and the title. So again, there are three ways to see the calendar in a monthly view, in a weekly view, and in a list view. So this is it for now. This is just a basic introduction to the events module of uh, available on .NET Nook website. And I'll be going uh, deeper into this module in future videos. Thank you very much. Bye for now.